he does a great job attacking the ball. Um, he runs great routes, so he's always, so you can always count on him to get open. Always count on him to beat his guy, and then he's fast. Jared's not deceptively fast. Jared's fast. Wisconsin's Jared Abaderes has not only gone from walk-on to starter, but he's the team's leading receiver with over a thousand yards this season, twice as many as the Badgers' second leading receiver. That's when he gets on top of someone, you can really separate, so you know you can just throw it out in front of him and he'll go get it. Seven receiving touchdowns this year, Abaderes was named All Big Ten, the first Wisconsin receiver to earn first team All Big Ten honors in consecutive seasons since Al Toon did it back in the early 80s. Heaves it deep down the middle, Abaderes got it, goodbye, touchdown Wisconsin. It's, it's all. It's, he, he's, the, he's the full package. He, he understands zone coverages and he's going to get into the holes. Um, he's very talented when it comes to catching contested balls. 23 career touchdowns, ranked second in Wisconsin football history. Also, he ranked second in Badger history in receiving yards and receptions. Pretty impressive for a former walk-on. You watch him on film and, and he's a fast kid. And, so all those things combined, and then his ability to be able to get into man coverage, and you can see it a couple times on the TV version where he gets into guys and you know leans and gets himself back off. That he just has a great feel of you know breaking off routes, whether it's the top of the route, the bottom of the route, or at the beginning of the route to cause separation. The sure-handed Abaderes is also versatile, running out of the backfield and returning punts. He is a badger to be reckoned with and a 2013 Burlesworth finalist, Wisconsin's Jared Abaderes. Jared, to get to that stage, you had an injury during your sophomore year of high school when a doctor told you you'd never play again. How did you overcome that? Um, I, I'd first have to say, um, you know, it was, it was God, you know, my faith. Um, it, it got me through um, a lot of adversity that I've went through. Um, you know, a lot of hard work as well, you know, um, just physical therapy every day trying to get back um, and, and, and that's kind of just, you know, how, how I went, just working hard and, and trying to get healthy. You were running track four months later? Yeah, we, I got run track four months later um, and then six months the day um, I was at the state track meet and I placed fourth and fifth in the hurdles, so um, it was quite a quick recovery. Your senior year, you decided you want to go to Wisconsin. You talked to them about running track but not football. Yeah, um, I was supposed to go to Wisconsin for track, um, and then once I got accepted and was going to run track there, I talked to the coaches, um, sent them some film, and, and they allowed me to walk on the football team. What was that like the first year? You were the scout team quarterback, right? Yeah, yeah, I did scout team quarterback, and I was also at wide receiver. Um, so whatever they kind of needed, I just stepped in and, and just tried to do my best. Um, you know, that first year's tough, you know, especially, you know, being away from home, um, you know, not being the guy anymore because in high school, obviously, you know, you're, you're basically the guy um, at, at your high school, and then you go to college, and, you know, you got to walk on and, and kind of be at the bottom of the team. So um, it's tough, but, um, you know, it's worth it. When did you know that you could play at that level? Um, I'd have to say that first um, spring, um, a lot of the receivers that we had were injured or had enough experience, so a lot of the young guys had, you know, a lot of reps, and um, I remember, you know, having, you know, take two posts basically every day, and I'd have like a touchdown um, basically every day, you know, just getting behind the defense, so that, that was really the time that I was able to grow as a receiver um, and really, you know, feel a part of the team. Then you're part of a team that played in three straight Rose Bowls. What was that like? Yeah, that was, I mean, obviously it didn't end the way we wanted to, but um, to experience that, it was, it was special. Um, and so to be able to have that, um, three Rose Bowls, you know, it's not, not done by many people. Many people don't even get to get to one. So um, to be able to be in three is, has been awesome and it's been a privilege. Okay, you're in Arkansas, so I have to ask you this one. How's Coach Bielema going to do with the Razorbacks? I think he'll do good. Um, you know, they got a good staff there, and, you know, they just got to keep, keep going. Um, obviously, it you know, takes more than one year to, to build up a program, so um, I think he's going to do a good job for them. It's interesting. He talks about the importance of a walk-on program. You experienced that at Wisconsin, didn't you? Yeah, I think, um, I think kind of what, what he means and what, you know, most co coaches talk about with walk-ons is kind of the, the mentality that you bring, um, you know, the hard work, um, the dedication, you're there because you want to be there, not because you have the money, you know, not that they gave you money to come there. So, I mean, you're really there because you love it. Um, you know, you're not getting paid or anything like that. So um, you kind of bring the mentality of the team, the hard work, and I think, you know, other guys can, can kind of build off of that. I'm sure you'd like to play more football. After that, what do you want to do? 
Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, you know, football right now is the top priority, and that's kind of you know been my dream since I was you know a little kid. Um, so we'll we'll chase that dream um, as long as it goes. Um, and then after that, we'll see um, possibly uh, physical therapy or maybe whatever whatever doors open up. We'll see what happens. Very good. All right. Thanks, Jared. Thank you very much. Good luck today. Uh, thank okay. you.